I've always loved the sound of sports. It's not the game you see, but the game you hear. Yet so many people say that the sneaker squeaks I hear on TV are fake. The squeaking sound a shoe makes, like a basketball shoe on a gymnasium floor, it's fake. It doesn't do it. It's piped in. It's, do it's done by the sneaker companies. I consider myself a skeptic of about anything, and squeaking would definitely fit into that category. Stopping his feet, counting out. I will see the clock on the screen. It starts when he begins to handle the ball. You know, it's slow also. The reason they do it is because they want you to buy their sneaker. You got the squeak, 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 like all over the place. And it's just like, what is this? I know something's been going on. Something's going on. I think they're putting all these squeaks in basketball games to sell shoes. I'm going to break open this conspiracy. We deserve to know the truth. So I decided to find someone who actually plays basketball and ask them, are the sneaker sounds real? I play basketball and I make the squeaking noises myself, so I am your first-hand evidence that that's not fake. The sneaker sounds you hear on the court are real. If you, if you play the game, you'd know that. I hear them all day in practice and games, so I know that that's fake. The only way to find out for sure is to buy a new pair of basketball shoes and head to the gym. But first, I need to hire an audio engineer to record this phenomenon. It seems like it checks out. Sneakers do squeak. But that still begs the question, how do they get them into the TV broadcast? I need to find someone with broadcast experience. In any live broadcast of an event, no matter what sport it is, and including basketball, there are microphones that are around the facility to pick up what's going on, to hear the crowd, but you can also, if it's court level, you can hear those, those sneakers making those noises on the hardwood. This new evidence really makes me question the credibility of the sneaker skeptics. Have they ever been to a game? I've never been to a live basketball game. I had a roommate that played a lot of 2K5 and I watched the Final Four sometimes. But no, I've never been to a live one. I, I don't watch it, you know, all that often. I was a little traumatized when I was in middle school. I was playing basketball and someone threw a really fast pass at me and it kind of caught my index finger straight on like this. and um, It affected me physically. But why go through the trouble of including sneaker sounds in a TV broadcast? It adds to the atmosphere for the viewer to be able to hear the audio of what's going on at the field of play, basketball court in this situation. And it's uh, important to balance out the many microphones too. You, you have multiple sources and so it's important for an audio engineer to get that balance just right. You know, a lot of people think that it's uh, some kind of conspiracy or something to get the sneaker noises pretty loud on the court, but that's a bunch of BS, actually. Now, there could be an audio engineer that ups the audio too much and you hear the sneaker noises more on some broadcasts, but the reason why you know that's not a conspiracy is just go to a basketball game and watch people play basketball, and if they're playing hard, you're going to hear those sneaker noises. So. Not only are the sneaker sounds real, some might say they are the very soul of the game. <laughs> the simplest shoe squeak because of a good closeout defensively um, can get you fired up. If you're working hard, you can, you can really, make them, really make them pop sometimes. <laughs> you think about it, most sports have a sound that goes with them. Basketball, it's those sneakers. If they're squeaking, that means you're doing something right. I love the sound, like you can hear it walking down the hallway, you don't even have to be in the gym. You can hear it and you know that there's good games going on in there. When you get to the double doors outside and you're about to go up and buy your tickets and you hear those shoes uh, squeaking on the floor, you, you know 
It's the music of the game. 